Have you ever wondered what the DC5521 stands for and what it means? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over what the DC5521 is for. Right off the bat, DC5521 got its name simply because of the measurement of the plug. So I have here a DC5521 cable. If you look at the plug, on the outside diameter, it is 5.5 millimeters wide, and the pin inside of the plug is 2.1 millimeters. And so the industry kind of sandwiched that into its name, so it's DC 55 representing the 5.5 millimeters, 21 representing the 2.1 millimeters. And so whenever you hear DC 55 21, you know exactly the size of plug that you are looking for. And DC 5521 is a pretty common size. There's an array of different sizes in these cylindrical type plugs. There's also DC 5525 and many others. So now that we know what DC 5521 stands for, you can easily start to see, oh, that makes it really easy to know exactly which plugs I'm looking for when you're shopping with a specific cable size in mind. Now I'll be honest, for the first couple of years purchasing power stations, I'm very familiar with the fact that it comes with the AC ports, which is probably the most desired portion of a portable power station, along with the 12 volt cigarette port for 12 volt appliances and the USB chargers, the USB-C, but then a lot of power stations come standard with the DC5521 plugs. And for the first couple of years, I had no idea what they were intended for or how I could even use them. And, and some companies do send out an actual DC5521 cable that you can use with other accessories. Not all of them send it, but some do. And, but I've never, I've never known what I could actually do with these ports. After learning more about it, I figured out one perfect use case scenario that I can use it for is an extra 12 volt DC port. All you have to do is plug into the DC5521 port and boom, now you have two of the same 12 volt outputs. Now it's important to keep in mind, a lot of times these are rated at different outputs. This is the Blue Eddy EB3A power station. And I, I quickly pulled up the manual here online just to look at what the actual output is rated for, for both the DC5521 and the, the regular typical DC output, which they referred to it as a cigarette lighter port. That's what most everyone knows this port by because everyone has one of these in their car. For both the cigarette lighter port and the DC5521 plug, they're both operating on 12 volts. The cigarette lighter port is rated up to 10 amps of power. The good news is on the Blue 80 EB3A, the 5521 plugs are also rated for 10 amps of power. Now, it, it, it's not very clear in the manual, but I would assume that between the cigarette lighter port, the DC5521 plug, and the second one, and most likely the USBs are all rated up to 10 amps combined. So if you're pulling five amps from this one and four amps from the 5521 plug, then that leaves you one amp left over for the third plug and the USBs if they are linked together with the cigarette lighter port and the 5521 plugs. Like I say, it's not super clear in the manual about that, but that is something to keep in mind. Not all the power stations are created equally. It's always important to know the actual rated power output for whatever you're trying to use. Um, and so with the Blue Eddy V3A, we have 10 amps available on the DC5521 plug as well as the cigarette lighter port. It's interesting to note that I, I pulled up the EcoFlow Delta 2 user manual. They have their cigarette lighter port, which they refer to as car outlet, rated up to the same 10 amps. However, for both the DC5521 outputs that it comes with, it's only rated up to three amps per port with what I'm pretty sure is a combined total of 10 amps. So that means 
you could run up to three amps in both of the DC5521 plugs, leaving you four amps left over in the car outlet port. So to give you an example of how I would use two of these car outlet ports, I have a 12 volt DC fridge that I use when I go camping, but when it's cold, I also have a diesel heater that runs off of the same port. And so in that case, I would want to use this extra adapter to, to plug into the DC5521 port, and that way I could run both my DC fridge and DC diesel heater. However, the problem is with the EcoFlow Delta II, if I plug this into the 3 amp max DC5521 plug, it won't be able to run either the heater or the fridge because the fridge takes just above, just barely above 3 amps. It's about uh, 45 watts, and so that's just under 4 amps of power. So I can't use this plug on the Delta II through the DC5521 port. And the heater, it draws up to like 9 or 10 amps on startup, but then it ramps down significantly while it's just powering a fan. It's probably around one amp or less, but the problem is it has to have continual power. And so in order to start it up, it's gotta be on the larger port. So that is a bummer for the EcoFlow Delta II, but I'm I'm happy to know with the Blue Eddy EB3A, each one of these is rated up to 10 amps, most likely combined but it's good to know that I could run both my fridge and my diesel heater simultaneously off the Blue Eddy EB3A. You'll have to excuse the mess. I've got my camping gear in storage for winter, but I just wanted to show you how the Blue Eddy EB3A can power my 12 volt DC fridge via the DC5521 port. So I've got my my adapter cable here that I was showing you. And then we just plug in the fridge and power it on. And so the fridge is now running. It's 63 degrees right now. And it's set for 32. You can hear the, the fridge running. And it's pulling 37 watts. Though when it first started up, I did see it jump to 45. I hope that I was able to answer your questions about that DC5521 port. What is it? Why is it there? And what does the name stand for? I hope this video helps you to be able to use your power station more effectively for different uses that you may need. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.